Hey everybody, Eric Smith here with a, a special announcement. I don't know if that's what I should call this. Um, and before I get into what that announcement is, um, we're going to have sort of a, if this were a book, this would be considered the foreword before we got into the story of the book. Or maybe an author's note or a prologue, not sure. But anyway, uh, one of my favorite YouTube channels is Media Death Cult, formerly movie death cult hosted by Moid Moidelhoff. I don't think that's his real name. Uh, anyway, it started out, I believe it was just uh, reviews and talk about horror movies. Um, Moid Moidelhoff would uh, review movies. He had a couple friends on. I'm not sure if it was officially a podcast, but he had some friends that would come on and they would talk about horror movies, new top 10 lists and things. Uh, he would force one of his friends to watch movies he'd never seen before, and they would discuss them. Um, but eventually, with COVID-19 and lockdown and everything going on, uh, the uh, channel sort of transformed, which is... My Alexa is talking to me. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the channel itself kind of transformed, which is why it changed from movie death cult to media death cult. And Moid... Uh, started talking more about books, and he posted a uh, top 10 science fiction book uh, list, and then he did top 10 more science fiction, top 10 classic science fiction, he even did top 100 science fiction books, uh, and then he did a top 10 fantasy books, and then he asked people to make suggestions for the gaps in his reading. What science fiction books should he read? What fantasy books should he read? And he made some videos with his TBR piles then. And the science fiction books he was going to read based on suggestions. The fantasy books he was going to read based on suggestions. And in the fantasy category, uh, one of the things he had not read was any of the Wheel of Time books by Robert Jordan. And so... He decided he would read all 15 books in the series and uh, make videos about those books. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, now, he's not reading them. Or he's not just reading those books. So he'll read the first Wheel of Time book, post his review. Uh, at least I assume, because he's posting a lot of videos in between. So uh, read the first Wheel of Time book, posted his review, and then he'd have couple other books that he would review and maybe a movie um, or a TV show. He did a top 10 science fiction TV show video and and he did some sort of, uh, he did a series with uh, The Matrix, he reviewed that and Existens or Existens, however you say it, the David Cronenberg film, things dealing with sort of virtual reality. Um, so he's doing all this stuff, but meanwhile he's reading and posting these reviews of the Wheel of Time series, 15 books. He just reviewed, at least as of the time that I'm recording this, the other day he just reviewed, I believe, the fifth book in the series. Uh, so anyway, that sort of inspired me to do something of my own. And if you've looked at the title of this video, you may have an idea of what that is. Uh, I kind of looked around to see what I have and what I, how I could uh, basically copy Moid Moidelhoff. And what I decided on was uh, F. Paul Wilson, because F. Paul Wilson has what is called the secret history of the world. Uh, and it involves, I don't think it's everything he's written, but it's a lot of stuff that he has written. Um, this right here is his latest book, Signals, and it is part of the adversary cycle and a prelude to Night World. And so I've picked this up. And in the back of this, and basically any of the more recent uh, editions of his books, there is a list. I don't know how well that's showing up, but there's a list of the secret history of the world. Everything that encompasses that uh, history. Uh, there's two pages of titles here. And it uh, there are quite a few short stories. And then a bunch of novels. Now... I do not own all of this material. Uh, I do not have the two short story collections that a lot of these stories are in. And I do not have all of the novels. Uh, I 
think, I want to say, the biggest part of the secret history of the world is the Repairman Jack books and the Adversary Cycle. Um, and I don't even have all technically, well, I mean, I don't have all of the Repairman Jack books. There are, I think, three young Jack books. I think they're young adult books. But they feature a young Jack, young Repairman Jack. And then there are three, I believe, Repairman Jack prequels, meaning they were written relatively recently. They take place before uh, The Tomb, which is the first Repairman Jack book. I do not have those. Uh, if I were going to buy everything on this list, uh, I would run out of money and time. Uh, so I'm just going to work with what I have, which I did a count, and now I forgot. It's 20-some books. Um, starting with the Keep, uh, which I have read before. Some of these I have read before. Uh, there are four, well now five, I believe, books in the Adversary Cycle. Signals, again, being the newest one. And there are, I don't know how many books I, again, counted recently, but I don't recall. A bunch of Repairman Jack books. Night World is the last book of the Secret History of the World. I believe the cover says a Repairman Jack novel and part of the Adversary Cycle. I'm not 100% sure on that because I have not looked at it since I put it on the shelf. Um, but uh, Night World is the last book. And uh, Year Zero, if you look at this list uh, at the end here where Night World is, let me, all right, there we go. Uh, again, don't know how well you can see that. It says year zero. That is when the world ends. I think that's how he puts it right here in his little thing. Uh, year zero is the end of civilization as we know it. Then year minus one is the year preceding it, etc. And so, again, if you look at this, we have the past, and then year minus three, and then year minus two, year minus one, and then year zero. Um, one of the interesting things, I think, is that, uh, uh, like the Repairman Jack books, the first Repairman Jack book, the first one written anyway, the tomb falls under year minus three, which means there's three years between that book and Night World. But the Repairman Jack books were written over a long period of time. They weren't all written in three years. Uh, and I'll, I'll get more into this when I get to the tomb, but uh, F. Paul Wilson has tweaked some of the books uh, to make them fit into this timeline. So when the tomb originally came out, I don't think cell phones existed at all. Um, I'm pretty sure Repairman Jack works with pay phones. I believe he's watching things on VHS. And there may be some other, some other differences, but in the newer edition, which I have read, um, he's using a cell phone. He's watching Blu-ray, uh, I think, or Laserdisc, one or the other. Um, so, so the story, um, I don't think any of the story elements have changed, just things like technology have been updated. Because uh, it's got to fit within three years. Uh, as opposed to the 20 or 30, however, whatever the time span is between the first Repairman Jack book being written and Night World being written. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I am going to read all of the secret history books that I have. Uh, and I'm going to start with The Keep, which is the second novel, it looks like. there's. If you go by this list in the past... There's one, two, three, four short stories, then the novel Black Wind, I don't have that, and then The Keep, which takes place in 1941. Uh, it was made into a movie. It's about Nazis in a castle with a vampire. Uh, and I'm going to, as soon as I finish the book that I'm reading now, which should just be another day or two, I am going to read The Keep. Now, I'm not going to read all of these books straight through. I'm at least going to read one other book in between everything. Uh, so I'll read The Keep, then I might read 
uh, something nonfiction or another horror book. I have some sci-fi I'd like to get to, but I'm going to read The Keep, then something else, then the next book in the secret history of the world that I have, then something else. And then, so I can't say exactly how regular my review videos of these books will be. I also can't say how well I'm going to be able in my head to piece all of this together. Um, because by the time I get to, let's just grab one here, uh, ground zero, uh, by the time I get to ground zero, I may not remember all the details of the keep or reborn and how maybe something in ground zero ties into one of those. Um, I haven't read ground zero or reborn, so I can't say, uh, maybe I'll, I will be able to keep it all straight. I'm making no promises as far as that goes. Uh, this is just something that uh, I thought might be fun. Moid Moidelhoff seems to be having fun doing it on his channel. Uh, Media Death Cult, check it out. Um, so, yeah, this is something I'm going to try to do. Uh, I believe in the uh, description of this video, I will list all of the books that I have in the Secret History of the World, the order that they're in. But I'm telling you right now, you know, in case anybody wants to follow along. First one is going to be The Keep. And then uh, when I do that video, I'll tell you what the next book is or remind you. But you can look in the description here. And if I remember to do it, hopefully I will. I will have, again, it's 20 some books, but I'll have a list in order of what I'm going to read and the order in which I will read them. Um, so there you go. I'm going to post this. It's uh, Saturday night right now. I'm going to post it tomorrow on Sunday. I don't know if posting a video on a Sunday works well, if that's a good idea. But uh, I didn't want to post it on the same day as another video. Um, and I normally post Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So that would leave Tuesday. What kind of day is that to post a video? Thursday? That's even worse than a Tuesday. And Saturday, well, then I'd have to wait another week before posting it. So, um, Sunday. Hopefully people will see this. Hopefully it's something that interests you. Uh, and um, hopefully it's something that I'll be able to do. Uh, I'll, I'll, as I'm recording the videos, as I'm reading the books, I'll let you know if there are going to be any changes in how I'm doing things. Um, I may feel that I need to read a couple of things in between each book. So these videos are not going to be, definitely not going to be every week. Uh, I can't even promise they're going to be every two weeks. They're not necessarily going to be on the same day of the week. Uh, I'm hopefully going to keep posting uh, reviews on Monday and Friday, reading remembrances on Wednesday. So any of these F. Paul Wilson books will either be on a Monday or a Friday. I'm not going to make a special day for them. They'll just sort of take the place of another review, um, which isn't quite accurate, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, I also have, I think every single one of these books that I have are in this. They look like this. They're all very similar. Um, all of my... Uh, Repairman Jack books, which were on a shelf up there, are uh, mass market paperback size, but all the same design of the cover. My Adversary Cycle books uh, are slightly larger size, trade paperback size, uh, but they all have the same type of cover. Uh, actually, I do have one Repairman Jack book that is this size because it's a newer one, but it fits in between two of the other books. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to look right here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, right there. It's at the end of year minus one. So it falls in between. Uh, what is the book before it? I'm not sure. Ground Zero is the Repairman Jack book before it. And then Reprisal is the book after it. But it's, uh, it, it, it kind of snugs right in between a couple of the other older books. Um, and unfortunately, this was the size that it came in, so it doesn't fit on the shelf with the other Repairman Jack books. If they ever move to a shelf with a little more room, I'll slip it in there. It'll look kind of odd, 
all the mass market paperbacks and then a bigger book and and that but anyway uh now i just seem to be rambling as i tend to do but that's the plan reading through the 20 some books from the secret history of the world by f paul wilson um hopefully maybe some people will read along with me uh and we can discuss things in in the comments a but uh that's the plan and as soon as i finish again what i'm reading now i'm gonna jump right into the keep a book i read a long time ago uh probably i'm pretty sure after i saw the movie um some people might be surprised that i chose to read the book after seeing the movie i don't remember my feelings on the movie but i know a lot of people were disappointed with it i believe a lot of people were disappointed with it uh but i read the book anyway i'd heard I, i'd probably read some f paul wilson short fiction before that uh and you know i mean he's he's a big name so of course i was going to read his stuff and I, I loved it i love the repairman jacks that i've read i've actually read the first three or four already but i'm going to reread them and everything's going to be fresh um so uh that's it if you have any comments questions or corrections put them in the comments below i hope this is something that is going to interest people um and uh and we can have some some interesting discussions um excuse me just a moment <coughs> not covid um i'm just a smoker uh so yes please uh, comments, uh, if you're going to talk about spoilers, once we get to the, the actually talking about the books, uh, if you're going to have spoilers, please post spoiler warning. Let's all be polite. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, that's all I've got for right now. Uh, but we're going to get into it. The reviews are going to keep coming. Reading remembrances are going to keep coming. This is just a little something extra. So, um, that's it. Did I say like, share, and subscribe? I don't know. I'm Eric Smith, and until next time, read more books.